Morning. This is Arnie Waters here at Waters Capital in Boston, Massachusetts. Hope you had a super weekend. We surely did. Uh, what we're looking at today is uh, gold trading around 1720, 1725 and change, uh, holding steady in this area. The inflation numbers uh, look uh, as expected by us, and uh, the consumer spending's up a little bit. Uh, the government says uh, inflation is flat. We'll let that go for today. We've been lecturing about what the nature of inflation is in the United States for the last week or so. So we'll just let go of the government, uh, we'll let go of the government forecast. Now, <clears throat> what we're seeing today, gold trading in this range, we suggested a light addition to portfolios around 1675, 1680. Please remember the trading range here is very broad between uh, support around 1632 and resistance around 1739. So uh, that's a broad trading range, and we encourage people to basically uh, continue to hold their positions, and if they feel like adding a little bit, uh, do it in a light kind of fashion. No more than 5 to 10% of the size of your portfolio should be added in through here. Uh, in our never-ending search for high-yielding opportunities, we turn to Norway. Norway has turned out to be the best credit in Europe. Uh, their sterling credit, as it were, <clears throat> is a result of the gigantic oil fields uh, that they have uncovered and in shallow water and uh, the fact that their government has a history of behaving in non-deficit uh, controlled spending ways and that their society, uh, uniform as it is, uh, and some consider it quite dull, uh, nonetheless uh, has a whole history of stability and fiscal responsibility, which is more to the point. Now, <clears throat> there are four specific stocks we like. They range in yield from 8 to 12 percent on a dividend yield basis. Uh, they are all in the oil drilling business, uh, which is booming up in that part of the world. Several of them have brand new equipment, and they're, again, they're going to be, some are, a couple are dealing in drilling, I'm sorry, in deep water, but three of the four are drilling in shallow water. So the combination of new rigs, uh, new oil fields, and a stable government with sound fiscal footings, as it were, uh, makes these, in our opinion, real good opportunities. Some of you will recall that we were in the Arctic uh, with the uh, Arctic Drilling Trust uh, three or four years ago until the Canadians killed that uh, uh, investment situation. So here are our ideas in Norway, uh, Acre, Sea Drill, North Atlantic Drilling, and Det Norska. Each of these will yield between 8 and 12 percent uh, in their stocks. We'll be keeping you uh, in line with these stocks because we do think these stocks also have substantial capital appreciation. If you want more depth on these, take a look at uh, Barron's over the weekend. Uh, so we'll be adding these to our watch lists as well. Uh, we're looking for yield in through here. Uh, we think Norway is a great opportunity to get some of that yield as we look at the low interest rates continuing for the next three or four years in the United States. So this is Arnie Waters. Watch that Florida primary. Aim for the ice flows, not the open water. Have a great day. Thanks.